This is a huge discovery. And we think that it's a huge discovery. And that's the most exciting piece of this, of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we've put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Well, JWST is so phenomenal that if you spend enough time, you could probably find any galaxy that ever formed uh, in the universe. It's really that powerful. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new, more mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. Just now, the telescope picked up something strange that could be potential signs of intelligent life beyond Earth. If this evidence is real, we could be looking at undeniable proof that we are not alone. Aliens might actually exist, and this is the closest we have ever been to finding them. So, what exactly did the James Webb Telescope discover? Could it have finally communicated with extraterrestrial life? Let's find out. Alien life on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope has detected something unusual on Proxima b, which is an exoplanet that has been of great interest since its discovery in 2016. But what makes Proxima b so special? And why are astronomers paying such close attention? First, the basics. Proxima b is located just 4.24 light years away from Earth. That's pretty close in space terms. It orbits in what's known as a habitable zone around its star, Proxima Centauri. Now, the habitable zone is basically an area where conditions could allow for liquid water to exist, which is one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. So naturally, scientists have been eager to study this planet and see if it might hold any clues about the possibility of life beyond Earth. But the problem was that Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star. And red dwarfs are not exactly friendly neighbors. These stars are known for their violent behavior, often unleashing intense solar flares. This raises some serious concerns. A flare could easily strip away a planet's atmosphere, leaving it exposed and potentially uninhabitable. So, even though Proxima b seemed promising, there were some big doubts about its ability to support life. And yet, despite these challenges, astronomers didn't give up. They kept studying the planet, hoping it might still reveal something important. And then came the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. One of its main missions is to observe the universe in greater detail than ever before. And unlike its predecessor, the Hubble, this new telescope is equipped with infrared instruments. These tools are a game-changer as they can detect faint emissions from distant stars and galaxies, and yes, even exoplanets. So when scientists pointed it toward Proxima b, they were hoping to gather more information about its atmosphere, surface, and maybe even signs of biological life. The interesting thing here is that instead of detecting the usual suspects like methane or water vapor, the telescope picked up something completely unexpected. A faint glow coming from the planet's night side. And no, this was not just some natural phenomenon like volcanic activity or auroras. This glow was steady and consistent, something that would more likely come from artificial lighting. You know, the kind of light you would expect to see from a city at night. This discovery has left scientists shocked. Could this be evidence of an advanced civilization? While it is too early to jump to conclusions, the idea that we might have found signs of intelligent life is hard to ignore. After all, artificial lights are one of the few things we associate with developed civilizations, like seeing Earth from space. So, if Proxima b really does have something similar going on, we might be looking at our first real clue that we are not alone in the universe. What does this mean? The discovery of potential artificial lights on Proxima b is nothing short of mind-blowing. If these lights really are a product of some advanced technology, it could mean that a highly developed civilization either exists or once existed on this nearby exoplanet. If that's true, this would be the first time we have found direct evidence of extraterrestrial technology. It is not a small discovery. It is not like we have found some bacteria or basic life form. This could be intelligent beings, capable of shaping their environment, maybe even creating city-like structures. This is the kind of stuff that makes you sit up and realize just how big the universe really is. But, as exciting as this all sounds, 
It leaves us with so many questions. If these lights are from a civilization, just how advanced are they? Are we talking about a society like ours, one that is experiencing its own technological developments and struggles, or is this something much more evolved? These lights cover a significant portion of the planet, according to the data from the James Webb Telescope. That could mean either one massive city or a bunch of smaller settlements scattered across the planet. Either way, we are talking about an organized society, not just random lights here and there. And then, of course, there is another question. How are these lights powered? Are they using something like electricity, as we do, generated from natural resources like coal, solar, or wind? And here is where it gets really interesting. Have they developed some advanced form of energy that we cannot even imagine yet? Proxima b orbits a red dwarf star, which is much cooler and dimmer than our sun. This could mean the inhabitants had to get creative with their energy production, maybe harnessing energy in ways that could give us clues about solving our own energy problems here on Earth. But what if these lights are just the remains of a civilization? Think about it. What if this is a society that once thrived but is now in decline? What could have caused it? Maybe they faced some internal conflict, ran into environmental issues, or even encountered some cosmic disaster. On the other hand, what if the civilization is still flourishing? If that's the case, it raises the possibility of actual contact between us and them. And the next thing we have to think about is whether we should even try to make contact. History tells us that when two civilizations meet, things don't always go smoothly. We have countless examples from our own history where encounters between human societies led to either cooperation or conflict. So, if we do decide to reach out to this alien civilization, what would that look like? Do we approach them with caution, or do we jump right into it? The ethical and practical questions are endless, and honestly, a bit terrifying. There is also the big challenge this discovery presents to our current understanding of where life can exist. For the longest time, scientists thought that planets orbiting red dwarf stars were not exactly life-friendly. These stars often unleash powerful solar flares, which could easily wipe out an atmosphere and leave a planet barren. Yet here we are, with potential evidence that not only life but intelligent life could be thriving in such conditions. If that's the case, it would completely change how we think about where life might exist in the universe. Red dwarfs are actually the most common type of star in our galaxy. And if life can thrive on Proxima b, that means there could be many other planets around red dwarfs where life could also exist. Suddenly, the universe is looking a lot more crowded. Even the places we once thought were unlikely candidates for life might need a second look. Space exploration. This discovery could be a game changer for space exploration. The fact that Proxima b is relatively close to Earth in astronomical terms makes it a prime target for future missions. It is just 4.24 light years away. Sure, that distance is still mind-boggling by our human standards, but in the grand scheme of the universe, it is practically in our backyard. Over the years, there has been a growing rumor around the idea of sending probes or even crewed missions to nearby star systems. Now, with the possibility of city lights on Proxima b, things could speed up big time. Scientists could develop advanced propulsion technologies so that we can study Proxima b and its possible inhabitants up close. It is not as far-fetched as it used to sound. The discovery of potential artificial lights there makes it an even more exciting candidate for future exploration. The goal would be to gather more data, get up close and personal with the planet, and maybe even discover if we are really dealing with an intelligent civilization out there. This is not the first time we have tried to find extraterrestrial life. We already have an institute called SETI, which stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Traditionally, SETI has focused on trying to detect radio signals or other forms of communication from distant civilizations. But with this new discovery, we might need to switch things up. The idea of finding city lights rather than listening for signals suggests that we should be on the lookout for other signs of advanced technology. Think about it. What if there are more planets out there like Proxima b, where artificial lighting or even massive structures could indicate life? 
This could mark the beginning of a whole new era in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But it is not just the scientists who are getting excited. This discovery has captured the public's imagination like few space-related events have in recent years. The idea that an alien civilization might be close enough for us to see the lights of its cities is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. People are excited about this discovery. They have been following every update from the James Webb Telescope and eagerly waiting to see what comes next. And honestly, who could blame them? Beyond the science and public fascination, there is also something bigger to think about. The potential discovery of an intelligent civilization challenges us to reconsider our place in the universe. We have always seen ourselves as a top species, the pinnacle of evolution. But if Proxima B really does have intelligent life, we are not alone. This realization might change how we see ourselves and our responsibilities as a species, both to our planet and to the technology we create. It is a lot to think about, but it could push humanity in exciting new directions. And not just that, we might also be looking at some threats. How can we prepare ourselves if an alien race does exist just some light years away? Potential Threats The possibility of an advanced civilization on Proxima B raises many questions and concerns. If these lights detected on the planet are truly artificial, we are looking at a society that has mastered some impressive technological feats. But what can we learn from them? Could they show us how to build a sustainable, advanced society? Or, on the other hand, warn us of the dangers that come with rapid technological progress? There is also the unsettling thought. Would they see us as a potential threat? Just as we might be cautious about them, they could be equally wary of Earth. The prospect of making contact with an alien civilization brings up difficult questions about our future, our place in the universe, and how we handle the responsibility of advancing technology. Plus, it forces us to consider what kind of civilization we are or want to become as we explore the cosmos. One thing is for sure, if these lights are real, they could be the catalyst for some serious international cooperation. Studying a planet that's light years away is not a job for just one country. It is going to require the kind of teamwork we have seen with projects like the International Space Station. Many countries would have to come together, pool resources, and share knowledge, all for the common goal of exploring Proxima B and potentially making contact. This could inspire a new wave of collaboration in space exploration. Now, if there really is a civilization on Proxima B, one of the first questions we would probably ask is how they have managed to survive in such a hostile environment. Remember, Proxima B is orbiting a red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, which is notorious for its intense stellar flares. These flares can bombard the planet with harmful radiation, making it hard to imagine life surviving there. But if these lights are anything to go by, it suggests that the inhabitants of Proxima B have found some way to protect themselves. Maybe they have developed advanced technology to control their atmosphere or shield their cities from radiation. Heck, they might have even adapted biologically or technologically to thrive under such extreme conditions. That would give us a whole new understanding of how life can evolve in ways we have never thought possible. And let's not forget about the lights themselves. What if the technology powering them is something far beyond our current understanding? We are talking about the possibility of energy sources we cannot even conceive of yet, antimatter reactors, zero-point energy, or harnessing the energy of their star in ways we have only dreamed of. The intensity and spread of these lights could offer some serious clues about the level of technology this civilization has achieved. If they have tapped into energy sources that are far beyond anything we have come up with, it could totally redefine what we think is possible for our own future. There is also a fascinating cultural angle to consider. The distribution of these lights across the planet could give us a peek into society's structure. Are the lights spread evenly? If so, it would suggest there is a highly connected global society. But what if the light is clustered in certain areas? Then it would hint at the existence of city-states, nations, or factions. The patterns could reveal a lot about how this alien civilization functions, from urban planning to technological priorities. Understanding how this alien society operates would be important if we ever do make contact. Are they peaceful explorers, 
eager to share their knowledge and culture, or are they isolationists, choosing to remain hidden from the rest of the universe? Their light suggests a civilization that is advanced enough to possibly engage in interstellar travel. If that's the case, they could have already explored other planets and star systems beyond Proxima Centauri. Another question that keeps popping up is the timing of this discovery. Proxima B is only 4.24 light years away, which means the light we are seeing now left the planet just over four years ago. That's almost real time in the grand scheme of space. This raises a possibility that any civilization on Proxima B could be at a similar technological stage as us right now. They could be facing the same societal challenges or working on the same advancements, but in an alien world. Alternatively, they might be a much older civilization that's already hit its technological peak or even collapse, with the lights being the last remnants of a once great society. The sheer proximity of Proxima B means that communication, while challenging, would not take as long as we might expect. With a light year delay of just over four years, it is almost instantaneous compared to the centuries or millennia it would take to communicate with civilizations in more distant parts of the galaxy. If we ever establish contact, it could be the beginning of something truly transformative, not just for us but for our understanding of life in the universe. The possibilities of making contact with an alien civilization on Proxima B are staggering. If we send a signal out, we can receive a response in just nine years. That's the potential here. For the first time, humanity could engage in a real-time conversation with another intelligent species. Of course, the logistics are a whole other story, like what language would we use? How would we even ensure that we understand each other? These are big challenges, but the short delay in communication makes it a lot more realistic than ever before. And then what about their technology? We have already seen city lights, but what other types of signals or technologies could exist on Proxima B that we have not yet detected? This could be just the beginning. Maybe they have massive engineering projects that produce gravitational waves or something equally mind-blowing. Every new discovery could offer us a deeper understanding of their technology, and who knows, maybe it is a roadmap for our own future. Another huge question is, who or what lives on Proxima B? If this civilization is advanced enough to produce artificial lighting, it is safe to assume they are intelligent beings. But their biology? That's likely something entirely different from anything we have encountered. Proxima B orbits a red dwarf star, which means its environment is pretty extreme. The inhabitants could have evolved unique biological features to survive in such volatile conditions. Or, maybe they have merged biology with technology, becoming a post-biological society where machines and organic life are mixed to create a new species. This also opens up an interesting discussion on intelligence. For centuries, we have defined intelligence based on our own experiences, but what if the life forms on Proxima B have developed intelligence in a totally different way? Maybe they operate on a hive-like consciousness or have a collective intelligence that functions on principles we cannot yet grasp. This could redefine what we consider intelligence and even shift how we approach AI and machine learning here on Earth. And if we are thinking big, imagine the possibilities of cultural exchange. If we establish contact, the potential to share knowledge ideas, and innovations with an entirely different species is mind-blowing. We could learn new forms of governance, philosophy, art, and science, ideas that have evolved under completely different circumstances. The collaboration could start a renaissance of creativity and thought for both species. So, what do you think? How should we approach this new discovery? Should we make contact with this extraterrestrial life or not? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. If you want to hear more shocking stories, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, because we've got a lot more of this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.